guys, it's Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and I am outside on this gorgeous sunny day, and I'm gonna show you how you can use sunshine and a magnifying glass to bake your polymer clay. Now, sometimes when we are out on the road, on the PCT road trip, we are off the grid and we don't have access to power. So how are you supposed to bake your polymer clay? Well, with the sun, of course. So let me just show you how you can make your own sun oven. Now you're just going to need a few different things. First of all, you're going to need a magnifying glass. Now I've got a couple examples here. These are uh, magnifying glasses that Doug used to use when he was getting his science degree. So these are the good quality uh, magnifying glasses. You don't want to get uh, the kind that uh, at the dollar store. They're just not going to cut it. Now there are a couple kinds. This is a um, a lower powered one and this is a higher powered one. You can kind of usually tell by the uh, thickness of the magnifying glass whether they're good quality or not. Um, I would go to a place like a um, scientific laboratory uh, supply place to pick up your magnifying glass. So you need a good one. Another thing you're going to need is um, something to bake on. I like to use like a ceramic tile and a ceramic bowl. Now this is going to become our little oven that we're going to hold the heat in from the sun. You also need a oven thermometer. Um, we're going to be baking at 265 to 275 and you're going to need to make sure that you are holding the clay at the right temperature otherwise it's just not going to bake properly. Um, so uh, oven thermometer is important and then you're going to need a timer. We're going to bake for the same amount of time the full hour like you normally do. Now, um, what we need to do is we need to concentrate the heat of the sun by focusing the magnifying glass in a position where you can see, um, it, hopefully I can get the right angle here, but you, you need to be able to focus it so that you've got a nice uh, beam of light. Oh, here we go. We've got a nice beam of light here. It's focusing on the side of the sun oven. Now. Of course, this is only going to be in one focused area, so one idea that can really help is if you, um, first of all, you're going to want to attach this to something because who wants to stand there and hold a mic magnifying glass for an hour? So I've just got this nice red clamp here. We use this at the campsites all the time, and I'm just going to try to position this so that, oh, there we go, we've got some sunlight there. Can you see that on the side? That's perfect. Now, um, one thing that you also have to keep in mind is for the, the sun to be at its strongest, it's best if it's at about noon. I'm not at the best ideal time here. The sun is getting a little lower, but if you're at noon, it's the hottest there. Also watch for the air temperature. If it's too cool around, you're going to be cooling down your oven and not getting that ideal temperature that you need inside. Now, one way to keep kind of the, the temperature even is to use something like um, a Lazy Susan where you can put it on the Lazy Susan. We'd have to readjust our, our uh, magnifying glass here and then just spin it so that we're keeping the, the um, uh, light hitting it all, all the way around. Now, uh, Doug has this really neat tool that he uses for photography and it's actually a battery operated turntable which makes this even more high tech and it's nice and small so if you're camping it's not going to be too much of a hassle to make that work for you. So you're going to have this right at the right temperature, you're going to check your temperature on the inside by making sure that it's correct and then we can just turn on, where's the little thing, somewhere here there's a switch and this little battery operated thing will keep your oven just even temperature all the way through. Now you're going to want to set your timer and go for a full hour and then you'll have a perfectly baked um, polymer clay piece. Now um, you may be tempted to just skip all of this oven and everything and just go straight for uh, baking your piece on your tile. I've got my little uh, starfish beads in here ready to bake. If you try to do this on your own you're going to run into a few problems. You can see here on this piece, I've really scorched the edge of it because you know the magnifying glass and the uh, sunshine can really cause a, a, a concentrated amount of heat and that's why we're, we were using the oven to just hold the heat in there perfectly. So I hope that was helpful for you and um, my question today is 
Did you happen to check the uh, day we posted this video? Did you notice it was April 1st? So <laughs> it was actually April, April Fools. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no, you can't think. You can't make Bolivar clean the magnifying glass. <laughs> Actually, the uh, we did this because uh, one of our uh, oldest members, um, well, not oldest, but longest members, uh, Anna Sabina said we needed to do a spoof video because in honor of all the crap baking videos that are out there so this is for you Anna so if you enjoyed this um, feel free to share it hopefully <laughs> you didn't buy it if you did uh, let me know in the comment section below and make sure to give this a thumbs up or press that like button so happy April Fool's Day and we will see you in another video at another time bye for now <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha